Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Brickadar of Nation of Kings and Priests coming with another quick class today about charity. Because brothers and sisters don't know what's the definition behind charity. How do we walk in charity? How do we understand what charity is or how to apply it? This is for them brothers and sisters that's new to, to the truth just now coming in and trying to understand what charity is. So I'm coming with a quick class today about charity. So first and foremost, I want to give all honor, all glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rakat Kadash. That's giving all honor and glory to the Most High through His only begotten Son to come today to put this spirit on me to come out with this this quick class on charity. Uh, also giving honor to the elders of Nation of Kings and Priests, no cap. And double honors to the elders of Mashal Yasarala for, for the, the council of the government body which we uh, yield ourselves to under. So let's get in. First precept I'm going to get is uh, 1 Corinthians 16 and 14. All right, this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14. Let all your things be done with charity. Brother, we have to let everything be done in charity. We have to give charity. Understand what charity is. We have to do this. Charity is like if you see your brother and he's in the truth or your sister and they're down and out. Help them out. Give them charity. Give them compliments on how they teach. Give them compliments on the type of spirit that that brother or sister have. Don't be a, a pleaser of man, but it's nothing wrong with giving your brother advice or telling him that, oh, yeah, brother, you did that good. You did that well. Oh, we had an excellent camp. Oh, brother, you brought out that precept clean. And nice. We have to do this. This is what's being charity, charitable. Also, of course, you know, uh, if a brother is down and out or a sister and you helping them out, that's charity also by giving alms to them. Um, of course, giving them compliments to a brother or a sister. You sisters uh, should learn to do that. This is having charity for one another. Let's get 1 Peter 5 and 14. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 14. Greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. With a kiss of charity. We got to greet each other with a kiss of charity. Show them on, brother. How's you and your family? How, how's everything been so far? Do you need any help, brother? Everything's going good? How's the kids? How's your wife? How's your family? Ask, give a brother charity. How you been, brother? Man, you, you had me worrying about you the other day, brother. Let me know how you been, man. I just want to make sure you're my brother. I got to be my brother's keeper. This is charity. This is a kiss of charity. Letting your brother know that you care about them. Peace be with you all that are in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Amen. And this is what's going to bring us peace. This is how we know that we, uh, we're children of Yahweh. And our big brother, our king, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, that we're uh, uh, just like him because Yahweh Shah was that same way. No matter how many brothers disrespected him and all that. Of course, you know he was stern, but he had charity for his brothers. And if we uh, see ourselves wanting to be just like Christ or trying to be just like Christ, this is what Christ did. He had charity for his people. We need to do that. We need to be doing that, Yasharala. So that's why I'm coming with this class on charity. Let's get into it. Let's get our first account. Let's see if the Most High show charity. Uh... Let's go to 
1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 2. Oh, Salakia. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. That's letting you know we got to have charity. If we ain't got no charity, everything that was given to us that was a gift is nothing to us. We have to have charity. We got to have understanding. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. You see that? You could go through all type of torment. And if you ain't got charity, that is nothing. Whatever you did was nothing without charity. Verse 4. Charity suffered long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity, charity uh, vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up. Charity is not boasty. Charity is, it, it suffers long. It's kind. It envieth not. How am I envy a brother if I'm giving him it? If I'm giving charity, how am I envying him? La'a. Charity is, is pure. It's straight from, from your heart. Yasharala. So you can't look at it as uh, uh, you being wicked or you going off. You have to have charity, brothers, brothers and sisters. You have to have charity. Charity going to get us a long way. The most I ain't just saying that for no reason. He letting us know multiple times over and over. Verse 5. Doth not behave itself unseemly? Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Think of no evil. That's with charity. It think of no evil. Does it does not behave itself unseemly? It doesn't behave itself unseemly. It doesn't seek after her own. Oh, well, let me pay charity to myself. It's not easily provoked. Cause how can you provoke a person who's given charity? How can you provoke charity? Your charity, you was wicked by giving charity. That doesn't make any sense. Think of no evil. Charity does not think evil when it's giving itself away. When you're giving away charity, there's no evil in that. That's love. Because you're looking out for your brother or sister that's down and out. That's on their last. That just need a little push to get them going. Now, of course, don't overdo it. Don't be foolish and, and overdo it and just keep giving it to them. You got to let them get up on their feet and be able to get it on their own. And not uh, suffer, uh, make your brother slothful, your brother or sister slothful, or feel like uh, that you're going to give it to them every time. That's the only way for them to become a man or a woman. That's the only way. Verse 13. Rejoice not in iniquity. But rejoice in the truth. And what's the truth? Psalms 119 and 142. Thy righteousness is thy truth. Paraphrasing over here. And Psalms uh, 119 and 151 also. The truth. And John 17 and 17. These all talk about the truth. The truth is what's going to set us free. Which is keeping these laws, that's commandments. That's the truth. That's the truth that nobody wants you to know. Verse 7. Bear of all things. Believeth all things. Hopeth all things. Endureth all things. 
Man, that's what charity does. It, it helps you to bear through all things. It helps you to believe in all things, according to the scriptures. Hope is all things that the Most High is going to bestow this upon you by coming through this brother. Endureth all things. It helps you to endure, to keep holding out, to keep going strong. Verse 8, charity never fail. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Because you, you got brothers that come out with these mad prophecies. These sickening prophecies. Guess what? They're going to fail. Them prophecies are going to fail because they're not prophecies. So that's why they're going to fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be, be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. All these things can go. A brother can tell you whatever he wants you to hear. But when it come around that corner, that day that uh, he, he has to be a man of his word, that's going to fail. But charity ain't. A knowledge that a brother may bestow upon you uh, uh, from these pagan uh, idolatries or, or brothers in the truth that's coming up with these uh, uh, bugged out prophecies. They gon' it shall vanish away in due time. But charity gonna stay. You gonna always remember what a brother or sister have done for you. At least if you, you know, you caught following the law, such commandments, and you are actually sincere brother or sister, you gonna see, you gonna always remember what a brother or sister have done for you for charity. Verse 9. For we know in part. And we prophesy in part. That's what we do. We know in part. We prophesy in part. We don't know the whole book. We don't know that whole thing. We only can prophesy what we do know. What Yahweh Shem Yahweh have bestowed upon us. Through the elders that's above us. Uh, Salakia. Verse 10. But when that which is perfect. Is come, then that which is in in part shall be done away. You see, that which is uh that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. That's when Hamashiach Yahusha, our King, when he returns, cause he is perfect. When he come, which is in part shall be done away with, cause because we ain't gonna know. The part no more. He's going to come and teach us the whole thing. We're going to learn the whole book. We're going to be able to eat the whole road, not some of it. That's the difference. But brothers and sisters got to have charity. That's the only way for them to see that day. Verse 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. This is what you got to do, Yasharala. You got to put away childish things and come back to the Most High God, understanding your true identity. For now, we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part. But then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abide of faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. You see that? Charity is the most greatest thing out of faith and hope. We have to have faith. We have to have hope. But charity is the biggest thing, Yasharala. So we need charity. We need to be supporting one another. We need to be showing love to one another. This is what we need to do. This is what we have to do. All praise to the Most High. This is the things that we need to apply to ourselves. Because we was once in that. Uh, uh, once we see through a dark, a glass darkly. We was once looking through a dark glass. Didn't have a clue. But then face to face with the truth. Now I know in part. Because it took the truth to teach me to know in part. Then shall I know even as also I am known. 
Then it's going to come to that time when I'm going to know for sure the whole 100% book. And that's when my, my king returned. And my shock, y'all was shot. But before he gets here, Yasharala, you best to be keeping charity. Faith, hope, and charity. These are the things that's required. And we need to be keeping that. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Again, my name is Kadar of Nation of Kings and Priests, no cap. I'm going to say, call halal Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rekha, Kadash. And 